Hey guys, it's Kawaii Creep. I am back at it again. Today I am doing something a little bit different. I did a collab with another YouTuber called Ward Reacts. Ward and I have been following each other for quite a long time. When I made my original Terrace House review, he commented on that. We followed each other and then kind of fell out of touch. And when I dropped my most recent uh, update video, he commented on it and I was like, oh man, it's been so long since uh, we've chatted. And he wanted to get started again doing videos, so we decided to do a collab. Today we're going to be talking about Terrace House in general, things that we liked about it, most memorable moments, and people, and also kind of some of the heavier topics that come with that. As you know, if you've been watching or have watched Terrace House, you'll probably know what we're talking about. Just a warning, if you haven't seen the show, there will be some spoilers, and you won't really be able to know what we're talking about sometimes because you'll need points of reference from watching the show. And also, I'm here in Australia, and he's in Norway, so we had to record our video chat, and there are a few moments of delay and some moments where we're talking over each other. I tried to edit it as best as I could, but just bear with me. I think the end video turned out really good. So without further ado, here is the video. Thanks for, thanks for joining me. All right, hello everybody. I'm Ward from Ward Reacts. I do reaction videos and I have reacted to some Terrace House. I love Terrace House, actually. That's how I found uh, your channel, I think. I looked up like Terrace House on YouTube, I'm doing a bachelor in uh, game design, which is a lot of fun, a lot of 3D. Nice. But yeah, I love Terrace House and uh, I've seen all the seasons and I've seen a bunch of other shows that are similar. So cozy and, uh, but also it's also got that good amount of drama, just the right amount. And, and I really like that it's filmed kind of like a movie, although it might be a bit staged, you know, as we would find out later. Yeah, so for those who've never seen Terrace House or if you're thinking about watching it, um, it's six people living together, three boys, three girls. They're just put into this really nice house with really nice cars in a location somewhere in Japan and... The cameras are there and they just um, watch how they interact with each other. Insight into a Japanese culture like that. Totally, yeah. Are more kind of like respectful and um, how they communicate and stuff like that. Yeah. What was your what was your favorite season? Uh, it's difficult. It might be just, you know, in the city. Because it mm. has like a lot of memorable moments and a lot of emotional moments. A lot of good members, I'd say. There is also the first season um, next door, oh, I and mean, it has like the saddest that, moment. Uh, that's the only one I haven't seen, and they reference it sometimes. I'll have to look uh, it up. It, it has like a hundred episodes. It's really, really long. It's uh, wow, very good. Annoying. Uh, um, I think my favorite, for some reason, I really liked Karuizawa because I think I don't know. There was just something like you said, cozy. I loved that house too. That was my favorite house. It has to be that house, doesn't it? It's so nice. It, it, it's so pretty with nature. I think it's the only time they had like a proper garden as well. Because yeah. like the other houses, they would only have like a really small outdoor area. But I did like in Aloha State how they had that view of the ocean. That was incredible. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's Sena. Also, Hansan. The, the good guy, the infallible good guy. Uh, next door, uh, Daiki, who is a boxer. The most emotional I've ever got from watching Terrace House. What's one big moment for him? I'd say, I'll say that much. Uh, yeah. Seen him on, uh, have you seen Last Kiss? It's um, mm. a Japanese no. dating show. He was on that. Bringing Sena back in all of the seasons, sort of. <laughs> oh, she was. I wanted to be her best friend. She was so cool. I just can't forget Guilty Samurai. I know they bring him up uh, a lot yeah, yeah. to call him a favorite, but he was so funny. He was like, so entertaining every time to watch. He was uh... involved. He just made it like ridiculous. How about who, least who? favorite member? Oh, it has to be Sherry from a low state. Sherry. Ah, uh, Sherry. The, yeah. the drunk card. <laughs> Yeah, out. she was rough, yeah. Um, she was, like, from a different dimension, or, like, she fit in with, like, a different show. And also, do you remember Hayato, the chef? Um, oh, yeah. And he was secretly dating Yeah, no. Idol I was going to mention him as well. Was... Yeah. My least favorite couple, by the way, I'd say. <laughs> yeah. When they went behind everyone's back, I mean, that was amazing, like, entertainment, though, like, that moment. Uh... 
<laughs> my oh, jaw yeah, dropped. That was the... <laughs> the shocker of the season. Your favorite couple? Oh, it has to be uh, Subasa and Shion, I think. Uh, <laughs> they're so wholesome. And like the dad, the scenes with the dad, oh man, they make my heart melt. Like, oh, oh. so good. Seriously, when when he told Basa's backstory, I don't want to give any spoilers, but like about, you know, her childhood and stuff, I was sobbing. It was so like, it was yeah. so heartfelt and sad and like intense. And yeah, they were a beautiful couple. I'm yeah. so sad they broke up. Yeah. And uh, she is in prison, I think. <laughs> well, are For you a serious? procession. Yeah. No They're very way. strict in Japan. Uh, Oh my god, I didn't know that. I'm gonna look it up after. How about least favorite couple? Well, I mean, there is Rico Pena and Hayato the chef, I guess, but... Uh, I had a hard time I mean, with they... Noah and Sena because I just thought Noah doesn't deserve her. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, that's the one couple that's like... They're married now. You did, not, did you know that? <laughs> Spoiler. didn't know that. <laughs> There's videos. They made the, the same comp uh, Fuji TV made company. I mean, the they made Terrace House style videos of the proposal and whatnot. And it's like good. I'm going to look it up. But it's a, it uh, maybe I'll change yeah. my mind if I watch that. But I just thought because <laughs> he, he seemed like this kind of spoiled rich boy that doesn't want to work hard and stuff. And I just thought I was like, you don't deserve saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess yeah that is true I, I wasn't really a big fan of him either how about like some most memorable scenes or situations from the show uh, maybe like the meat incident <laughs> that's one of them that was I mean, yeah <laughs> it was so ridiculous it felt so and, bad uh, and it got so dramatic but it was also like why did you eat his special yeah I felt really bad for the guy uh, I was totally excited with him like I wouldn't have, I don't, well, I wouldn't have known, I would have eaten the, the meat and I wouldn't have known it was like from his client or whatever. <laughs> but I would be really sorry afterwards. I, I didn't feel like they were sorry, and, sorry enough afterwards. But the yeah, they were super casual. They're like, why are you so upset? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just some meat. <laughs> yeah, I would be super upset. That was an expensive gift. One of my most memorable scenes when Shohei leaves the house in Karuiza and he does a little outdoor concert for them. Oh yeah, I that love was that. So uh, good. I got the yeah. warm fuzzies. Oh, what about cringiest, yeah. cringiest moment? It has to be uh, Ed and Kai when he's like standing next to Lauren, like on the beach. That <laughs> was so sad. It took like they waited like fifteen, ten minutes just watching that. It was terror, <laughs> terrible. It felt so bad. <laughs> Do you remember the the Costco rejection when? Um, oh yeah hilarious Ab yeah. wants to go out with the girl yeah. and then she's like but i want to go to costco with everyone and he keeps trying to push it and she's like costco yeah that was famous uh, uh, line yeah so i know we both kind of well everyone knows that some of it has to be staged but right like what how much of it do you think is staged and how much do you think is actual you know off the cuff well, I do think I read that uh, they only were filming on certain days ish. So, mm -hmm. and they're telling cast members if you're gonna ask somebody out or have a deep conversation ish, you should wait until they're filming, sort of dealio. And I'm also like, from the beginning, I was guessing like if people are boring, they're gonna get asked, you know, behind the scenes, sort of. <laughs> That's the impression I got anyway. So, I'm watching all of the seasons. Yeah. I do, yeah, I do think the producers kind of tell people, like, you should stay or you should go. I'm sure they fuel the drama as well, because like things like the, the meat incident, the producers probably saw Uchi bring the meat home, and then they were like, oh, wouldn't it be funny if they ate? They probably told them to eat it, you know? Because uh, so I just think, who would I do mean, that? I wouldn't put it past them after, you know, what we learned about the the last season uh, yeah yeah that's that's the big topic i want to touch on because of course everyone knows that um kimura hana passed away by suicide um last year or beginning of last yeah. year i think um and she attributed it to online bullying that she received from 
you know, after being on the show, she got a lot of hate, yeah. which is really horrible and sad. And I mean, one I cried a lot big... about it, actually, when I found out. Uh... <laughs> I mean, I cried a lot in Terry's eyes general, so. But no, I, when I found cried. out, I was so shocked because I really liked her. I thought she was super sweet and like yeah. i couldn't believe when i read the things that people were saying to her online i couldn't believe it i felt so um, bad like just to imagine what it must have been like like be in isolation and they're air that and like hundreds of people every day would message her how awful she must have felt like made yeah. me so sad yeah because that was the beginning of the whole you know make thing yeah, so it's just immediately her world just must have come crashing down. Like, And the whole incident that people were hating on her for was so petty and stupid, I thought. Because didn't she say the big thing people were bullying her about was she washed her wrestling outfit and then someone, another house member, put it in the dryer and it shrunk and she got upset. Uh, you didn't watch all of the episodes, did you? No, I haven't. Because, I mean, they show it in the show. I mean, those episodes, they, t they took it off. Uh, they're not on Netflix, but you can watch it elsewhere. Yeah, that's what happened, essentially. I just well, think I it's a um, minor stupid thing to think. Oh, you're a terrible person because you got upset that your wrestling outfit shrunk. So what? Who cares? That's her job, you know? She That's her livelihood and her, her identity. And I know she said that they... The producers told her, yeah, make a big deal about it. Yeah. So it just adds this whole new layer of, uh really makes me sad. I mean, they even told her to, like, hit him, like, properly. And she was like, no, I can't. The best I can do is a slap. And that's what she did. And, like, and there's also other stuff they told, like, uh, Kai, isn't that his name? Told him to, like, grab her breast when they were on a date or <laughs> something like that. It's, like, messed up. Start to question the ethics of the people making these shows because they in in the case of terrace house they get people who are vulnerable in the sense that they're young and they want to build a career so they're kind of willing to do whatever it takes and so yeah. when they the producers know they're in that situation they get them to sign the contract and then they just exploit them it's really sad yeah also some uh I think I read that they, they are kind of kept there, like, they're not kind of allowed to leave, even. Yeah. I mean, how terrible is that? They're, like, torturing them, like, keeping the hostage, essentially. Yeah. Uh, some of them, anyways. And they're kind yeah. of painting Hana to be, like, a villain, like, her character from the get-go is the impression I got, like, they wanted somebody to stare some drama and be, like, a villain Absolutely. type. You could tell she I mean, was uncomfortable yeah. with it, I think. You could sense that she, you know, she's just like a sweet person and she didn't want to be, she didn't want to be doing those things. And it's, it's really sad. I wonder, do you think they'll continue the show? It would be rebranded, I, I think, at least. I mean, there is this other show, uh, if you heard of it, uh, Shanghai Share Life, which I watched. It's a one season, um, uh, which is like a carbon copy, essentially. I would guess they're mm -hmm. even paying, like, they even paid for the sort of, look because it's so similar really? they have to have paid some like clients to sing because it's not it's like sim it's all similar it's just the same show essentially in china uh it's really good though like the panel is uh uh way more respectful sort of and they it, there's one scene where they like show everybody who's like filming the scene like this, they show behind the scenes in the show um have you seen the one it's on netflix and i can't remember the name where it's a dating show. They're on like this resort and they each have a deep, dark secret. And at yeah, some yeah, point, yeah, real love. Break... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was quite entertaining so... as well. That was so toxic. I can't believe I watched that. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't I mean, it's stop like a watching. Guilty pleasure. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Like I knew as I was watching it, I'm like, this is so bad, but I couldn't stop watching. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can do a video on that one. Yeah. Thanks All for, right. thanks for um, filming with me. Ward, I'll see you later. Yeah. All right. Bye, bye. Bye. All right, guys, that was it. I will be linking Ward's channel down below, and I'm also going to put all my socials, Instagram, TikTok, blah, blah, blah. I'm also putting the Discord there. If you guys haven't heard, I have started Drama Club, where I have created a calendar for the rest of the year, which dramas I'm going to be watching and when. And if you want to follow along, you can join the Discord. The calendar is up, and uh, come watch some dramas with me. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!